Okay, I'm gonna ruffle some feathers with this one, but here are five Enneagram trends that make me go absolutely feral. Trend number one, and this one makes me want to surgically remove my ears when I hear this one. It is something like this. Well, I can't help that I'm rude. It's just my Enneagram type. Stop saying stuff like this. <laughs> Using your type to explain away bad behavior is not the move. The Enneagram helps you understand your personality, yes. But more than that, it is also a tool for growth. I would argue that that's more important even than understanding what your personality is. It's using this tool to grow, not using it to explain away why you're so rude to waiters. It helps you be aware of your healthy and unhealthy qualities so that you can find a better path forward. Sometimes I find that people read a description of their Enneagram type and then they take that as absolute truth. They say, well, I'm an Enneagram three, so I am destined to be a workaholic forever. I really hate this because I feel like you're missing out on the whole point of the Enneagram, right? Instead of fixing workaholism and looking at the root of it and asking, hey, why am I working myself so hard? What can I do to improve my life? Um, instead of looking at that, you're just like, well, that's my Enneagram type, do it to do, and you skip down the lane um, to work yourself to death until you numb out and everything sucks. Not from personal experience or anything. I am a three, by the way. Trend number two, saying that some types are better than others. I hate that. I'm asked on a pretty regular basis what my favorite Enneagram type is and what my least favorite Enneagram type is. And I totally get where you're coming from. It's tempting in the personality space zone. You wanna know like what's someone's favorite number, what's someone's favorite, you know, Myers-Briggs type, all of that stuff is, is very tempting, but I truly believe Enneagram types are value neutral. And so I refuse to answer that question. Although sometimes in jest, um, I will say Enneagram type fours are my favorite just because my husband is a four, but I really believe that all the types are value neutral. On the Enneagram Journey podcast, Suzanne Stabile says, the trick to a healthy relationship is to be healthy. Mind blown, right? It doesn't have anything to do with your number. I love that quote because it reveals how we should all be treating each other. It's not about the Enneagram number. It's about making yourself as healthy as possible so you can better love the people in your life. Ultimately, the only thing you have control over is your own level of health. So let's try not to judge other Enneagram types, please. And please stop asking me what my favorite and least favorite Enneagram type is. Trend number three, typing other people. I understand this one because it is incredibly tempting to like want to know what everybody in your life is, especially when you just discover the Enneagram. I did this to my father. I was like, oh, hey dad, you're a three, you're a three, you're a three. And I completely skewed what his Enneagram type was going to be. In past videos, I've said, oh, my dad is a six. He's like the most six-ish six of all sixes, but turns out, he was indeed a three, but because I was running around telling him he was a three when I first discovered the Enneagram, he decided to answer everything completely six-ish, because he does have six qualities. It's his blind spot, that's his growth spot. Um, but really, he was a three, which I thought he was originally, but anyway. Long story short, typing other people messes up their journey. That's why typing other people is dangerous. It prevents them from discovering the Enneagram for themselves, and we don't wanna do that. We just don't. For example, you tell your friend, hey, you're a really anxious person. I bet you're an Enneagram type six. How do you think that would make them feel? Either they will rebel against that idea and never look into the Enneagram themselves, or they're gonna just take your word for it and just go through the world thinking that they're a six and not actually do the inner work. Plus, you never know what somebody's Enneagram type is because the Enneagram is about internal motivations. It's about the roots. It's not about the tree, the behaviors. Is this making sense? We don't know people's core motivations, but we see their behaviors. A lot of behaviors could look the same, but the reason why you're doing that thing is different. Trend number four, mistyping yourself based on your actions instead of your motivations. A common pitfall is typing yourself based on your outward expression. For example, surface behavior of type nine and type two can look very similar. They're both helpful, they're both generous, they both have rose-colored glasses on. They like to look at things through positivity. They both want to help 
uh, unite groups of people. They're really good at making community. But if you only look at the surface elements of someone's actions, you're gonna miss the stuff underneath the surface. That's what sets the Enneagram apart from other personality typing systems. It's not about behavior. The Enneagram is about the why. Why are you being super helpful? Why are you putting people's needs before your own? Why are you putting on these rose-colored glasses? That distinction is the heart of the Enneagram. And finally, trend number five, the thing that makes me absolutely furious, and that is making your identity your Enneagram number. The Enneagram is not perfect. It's not a perfect system. It's not a like end all be all of like who we are as people, okay? It was created by flawed humans and at the end of the day, it's just a tool for self understanding. Anything can be damaging if you misuse it. Money, sex, religion, food, all that matters is how you use it and how it makes you and your loved ones feel heard, seen, and understood. So. If you take one thing from this video, let it be this, your Enneagram type does not define you. You are more than a type on a personality indicator. You are uniquely you. If you wanna know how you can use the Enneagram as a tool for growth, click this video right here. I will see you in the next video and thank you for watching.